Alright, it is time for another Mac comparison video. Haven't done one of these in a while. So, let me go over what Macs I have sitting here. Up front here, this is my 13 inch MacBook Pro with Retina display from late 2013. Right here is a uh, 13 inch MacBook Pro without Retina display from I believe late 2011. And the oldest Mac right here is this black MacBook from late 2007. So there you go. Those are all the Macs that I have sitting here. This one's mine. This one's my grandma's and this one's my uncle's. I've done, I've edited a lot of my videos on this computer um, and this one too. Most of them on this one though. <laughs> anyway, let's start up the video. So there they all are. I guess first I can go over uh, hardware specs. So let's start out with mine here. Start on the right side. So on the right here, you've got the SDXC card slot right there and HDMI and a USB 3.0 and on the other side you've got the MagSafe 2 Thunderbolt or two Thunderbolt 2.0 ports and another USB 3.0 port headphone slash microphone input and two built-in microphones and vents and I think the speakers are in here too but I could be wrong so I'm not I'm not sure next we'll do this one starting on the left side here you've got the original MagSafe connector MagSafe one if the camera would focus there we go uh, gigabit Ethernet I believe it's gigabit and I believe that's firewire but I could be wrong this is a Thunderbolt 1.0 port and two USB 2.0 ports I know I said in the last video that they are uh, 3.0 but they're only 2.0 because if you look up in there maybe you'll be able to see just maybe there's no extra pins at the end if you look on mine at the end right there you will see those five extra pins there you go not on that one and that's an SDXC card slot, and this looks like an SDXC, but I'm going to say it's an HC. But again, I could be wrong, correct me if I am. And something I wish was on mine, a battery level indicator. You can't see it because of the iPhone lens. Oh, there you go, the iPhone light. I mean, there you go. Going around to the other side, you have the slot loading super drive, which is for DVDs and CDs, and a Kingston lock. All right, so we got the two newer ones out of the way. Let's go over what's on the older one here. On the left, you'll see uh, the original MagSafe connector, MagSafe 1. Ethernet, I don't think that's gigabit Ethernet, but I could be wrong again. Um, uh, I'm not sure what those two ports are, actually. I've been told what they were before. Fail, fail, focus fail. Come on, there you go. Um, it looks like this one here is going to be a display port, but I'm not sure what. The one right there is um, Firewire, maybe I have no idea. <laughs> two USB two, uh, yeah, two USB 2.0 ports. Looks like microphone input again. I'm not sure. And headphone output and a Kingston lock slot. And on the other side, you have the slot loading USB or not USB, uh, the slot loading Apple Super Drive. Then on the bottom, on the battery itself, you'll notice. There is a battery level indicator. Alright, I've got a secondary camera set up for this. Um, this is going to be the shutdown test thing, timing it. And uh, I guess I'm going to put the iPhone 6 down and let this thing take over for a minute. Alright, oh. Fail. That sucked. Oops. Alright, well, I guess we're doing startup test first. In three, two, one.
All right, so it looks like we're stopped at one minute, nine seconds, and 66 milliseconds, it looks like. And there you go. That Mac takes a little while to start up. Actually, let's do the shutdown thing now. Why not? So, reset the stopwatch. Boom. Oops, there went the iPad. <laughs> Okay, I am not going to, apparently this is really sensitive, so I'm just going to use the old bar. Alright. In. Three. Two. One. Zilmax shut down fast, so I have to have my finger over the stop button. Or just give me the beach ball of death. Yeah, that's nice too. <laughs> Stopped at about a second late, so we're at about 15.82 seconds. Alright, moving on to some of the newer stuff. And this is going to be my grandma's 13-inch MacBook Pro without Retina display from late 2011. Alright, let's do this. In three, two, one. This is the shutdown test. Alright, I stopped at about a second late, so we're at about 30, 31 seconds for shutdown time. Let's reset and do the boot up test. Alright, we're going to do this in 3, 2, 1. That beautiful sound. All right, so we're at about 48 seconds for the startup time. Yeah, forgot to mention the OS again. This is running uh, OS 10 Mavericks or 10.10, 10, no, 10.9.5. This is 10.7 something. All right, it's time for my Mac. This is running Mac OS 10.10.2 beta or Mac OS 10 Yosemite. This is a beta operating system because 10.10.2 beta came out and I decided to install it so I guess it's time for the shutdown test and this is going to happen in three two one once that backlight shuts off I'm hitting the stop button alright so at about six seconds I stopped it a little late alright your mind's gonna be blown by the startup time on this Starting from the time I push the power button in three, two, one. Love that sound. Six seconds. Six point twenty seconds. Awesome. Oh crap, it's showing a low battery on my camera. Uh oh. <laughs> Let me just take the lightning cord from this and just plug it into the iPhone 6. Not my iPhone 6 again, I don't like the iPhone 6s. Uh, hold on a minute. Alright, uh, we should be on the charger, let me just make sure. Alright, should be good. Anyway, what we're going to go over now is cosmetic differences. So let's start off with the oldest one, why not? As you can see, we've got a plastic case. This is in pretty good condition. There's no cracking along the edges here, which I've seen with a lot of Macs from these days. Uh, from the old plastic days of the MacBook. Not the MacBook Pro, but the MacBook. Uh, you'll notice that there is a bar on the trackpad. The whole thing is not a button like on newer Macs. Instead, it is just that one bar. And you'll also notice that the screen on this thing is really thick as well. Oh. Charger is giving me limitations here. <laughs> um, there we go. You can see the screen is quite thick. And if you look just perfectly, you can see the... What is that? Mercury backlighting, I think it had. Anyway, if you look at the camera... Oh, crap. Covering the camera. Hold on. Alright, if you look... No, that doesn't work. Never mind. Fail. 
Um, if you look right here at the iSight camera, you will notice it is square. It is not HD, and the microphone is right there. I think. Let me actually. Tr let me actually see. Uh, I'll boot that up. That might be an LED. No, no, the LED is right there. So yeah, and my Mac's going to sleep. <laughs> um, anyway, there it is. There's the old iSight camera. And now. Let's go on to this one. This is the 13-inch MacBook Pro, and it's kind of dirty. Um, it's got a fiberglass, or you know, some kind of glass trackpad. Um, the whole thing, the whole thing's a button. On this one, the trackpad was plastic and kind of small. This one's huge. Um, whole thing's a button. You've got your multi-finger gestures, which are very nice. I really like those. And uh, updated dock with Mavericks. And uh, you still got the uh, 12, 1280 by 800, uh, no, what is it, uh, 800p is what I'm going to call it. It's an okay screen for a Mac. Um, there you go. You've got the keyboard, which is backlit on this model. On the black one here, it is not. You probably can't see it with the iPhone, right? Oh, yeah, there you go. So we turn that off. <laughs> Boom. Um... The law, the power button is in the corner, and there's an eject button here for that. And I apparently hit the clicky button for the sound. And as you can see right here, it is more like over the eject button than in the corner. Um, either way, yeah. And on this one also, there is an LED in the front and a infrared receiver for something. Probably a remote, not exactly sure. On this one, there is an LED in the front, as you can see right there. And another infrared uh, sensor. And as you can see, the display on this one is much thinner. I think it's LED backlit, but it could be Mercury 2 backlit. I'm not sure. But yeah, there's that. All right, and here's my Mac. We've got these. It looks like about the same size trackpad. Um, still glass whole thing is a button and there is no disk drive in this so the eject button was replaced with a power button and I have a keyboard cover on it and there is a backlight on the keyboard very nice very helpful when I'm sitting in the basement and you notice with the new Mac OS um, there is no clicky sound for the volume uh, this is running an operating system obviously and uh, Pretty much the same as this one, except the display is thinner still. Um, it's much brighter too. Still on the physical differences topic, you will notice that mine on the right is thinner closed than the base of my grandma's. But that's just because there is no disk drive and mine has an SSD, this one has a hard drive disk. Uh, actually the screens... Now the screen on mine is just a little tiny bit thinner. I love the design of the Mac. All the Macs, they're so nice. Um, and yeah, so there's that. There's mine. Over to my grandma's. There's no exterior LEDs on mine. At all. No battery indicator. Forgot to mention that the microphone on this one is right here. Right above the escape key. That little thing right there. If the camera will focus that close. And there you go. You can kind of see it. Going back to retroness with the old MacBook, you will see that my grandma's is thinner. And needless to say, mine is thinner too. Um, I guess I can put it up to the side of it later. But there you go. Screen thick. Um, base is actually the base is about the same. The speakers are right here actually on this one. Uh, there's that, and just for fun, put that back there, and take mine, and there you go. So I guess that's it for the uh, physical differences. The hardware is, I guess, something I will go over next. Alright, so I've already gone over some of the hardware specs, but this is going to be more of what's inside. So, I have no idea what processor this has. Oops. <laughs> Probably should have looked into that. 
Um, about, it looks like we have 2.2 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo, 4 gigabytes of RAM. And we've got mine over here and it's lagging. Looks like a beta bug about this Mac. And this one's got a 2.4 gigahertz Intel Core i5. And the graphics processor is an Intel Iris 1536 megabytes. The graphics processor in this one, oh yeah, this is running 10.7.5. The graphics in this one is an Intel GMA X3100 144 megabyte. And this one, oops, didn't mean to play that. That's for later. Um, this one has same processor as mine, 2.4 Intel Core i5. These are all dual core, I believe. And the graphics processor is, oh, I should probably censor the serial number while I'll do that. Um, Intel HD Graphics 3000, uh, 384 megabytes. Boom, boom, boom. All right, let's compare. This is going to be a speaker test. So all of these are turned up all the way. We're going to go oldest to newest. So I'm going to play five songs of this. This is my song, so no copyright. So I'm playing like, play like a few seconds of it. So three, two, one. Alright, so there's that one, and here's this one, same song. Alright, now last is mine. Same song. These are all from YouTube, so I'm, I, it's just to prove that I'm not using any um, enhancing stuff. Like, I'll even prove it. This is YouTube. Mute, no. Fail. YouTube. And YouTube. Alright, my opinion, this one has more range. It sounds a little flat though, but since the speakers are on the bottom bouncing off this table and it's like a leather card table thing that's kind of small, uh, that might have had something to do with it. The speakers on this one are like right here. Speakers on this one actually are behind here and they bounce off the monitor to direct the sound into your face. And I believe there is a little tiny subwoofer somewhere around here. I've seen people take these apart, but uh, yeah. I guess next we're going to go over screens. So the screen resolution in this one, oops, magic corner, I guess my uncle had those set up. I do not like this trackpad, oh my gosh. Um, more info, displays. Yeah, this has a built-in color LCD display. And there's the graphics processor again. And there's the resolution, 1280 by 800, so around Close to 720p. This one here, I believe, has the exact same screen, but a different graphics processor. Um, yeah, same exact screen, 13 inch, focus fail. There we go. Just different graphics processor. Going over to mine here. Uh, displays. This is the built-in Retina display at 2560 by 1600. So. I believe that's like 2K or something, and there's the resolu or there's the graphics processor, and yeah. For storage, I have a very small 128 gigabyte SSD. Should have gotten a larger one. I believe this one has. What does it have? Oh wow, it's almost full. Oh, 150 gigabyte. Okay, okay. I 160 gigabyte. So. Uh, a hard drive disk, 160 gigabyte SATA disk. I thought this was um, 250, but uh, either way, still bigger than mine. Um, 120, 121 gigabyte flash storage. This one has the largest hard drive at 
500 gigabytes and barely any of it's used. Alright. Not really sure what else to go over here. I think I've covered everything. Oh, that failed. The iPhone 6 is full. Just to prove it. Do 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 do. Oh, you're not gonna show me? You're gonna prove me wrong? But, uh. No, nothing. Oh, um, God. Every time I try to do one of these videos, I have a problem. Um, anyway, there you go. iPhone 6 full. This isn't even mine, so I'm gonna have to take all my crap off of it. Um, either way. Here's if you made it to the end of this video, comment below saying hashtag MacBook Tower for the win. So I guess that is it for the video. If I missed anything that you would like me to go over, tell me in the comments and uh, you can see the beautiful shadow, maybe. Oh, I guess not. It sucks. Yeah, it's casting a cool little shadow. Here, I'll take a picture of it with this iPad and uh, post it and uh, put it in picture in picture. Alright, so that is it for this video guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'm just going to take a picture of all the stuff that was used to produce this video.